One of the toughest parts of a dementia diagnosis can be the isolation from society. And since it's often considered a taboo subject, it can be really hard to talk about. Now, there are more than 50 million people living with the disease and here now to talk about it. And his brand new book, Joe Wallace. Joe, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm really happy to be here. Thank you. You're a portrait photographer by trade. The book is beautiful. Let's talk about what it's about. What is this book all about? So the basic idea is I spent seven years interviewing and photographing people living with different kinds of dementia. My, the simplest form of the goal was to make um, an audience that feels stigmatized and visible, defined by their diagnosis, easier to access, better to understand, and to show that these people have complex, interesting lives despite their diagnosis, and they can't be defined by their, by their, by their medical So you tell their stories. Tell us a little bit about what the book is. It's a beautiful book with pictures and stories. Explain to us a little bit about it. Uh, thank you. So um, each person that I met, I interviewed um, usually either alone or with a family member, a caregiver, and then we did a portrait together. The images are paired with the, the photograph that I take together along with a photograph of the subject when they're roughly 15 to 25 years old. And the reason I did that is people feel invisible, they feel defined by their di diagnosis, they feel defined by this moment in time and the two photos bookend are trying to force people to consider their whole life of experience and 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 that they are defined by their experiences not just by their medical status what do you hope readers get out of this I would say that um, if you close your eyes and you imagine if someone says the word Alzheimer's and you imagine what that looks like there you're gonna come up with sort of the bookends as I like to say so with the, the there's saccharin on one end which might be someone singing to their grandmother through the window during COVID which is a real experience and on the other end of the bookend it might be tragedy despair vulnerability it might be somebody in a wheelchair that's no longer verbal and I would say that 99% of the experience of living with dementia happens in between those two things so I'm trying to get people to see See this group of people it's remember it's like as you said 50 million people so people will dig into the stories they'll see nuance and they'll want to get to know those um, suffering with the yeah, disease. Yeah we've all been touched by I know your grandparents my grandmother had it for a very long time this is such a beautiful tribute to everybody and hopefully it brings it out of the shadows and out of the darkness and we talk about it and uh, how can people real quick Joe get the book? Every major bookseller uh, it's published by MIT Press. It's distributed by Penguin Random House, Barnes & Noble, Amazon, your local bookshop, available any of those places. Awesome. Fantastic. Joe Walsh, the day Wallace. after yesterday. Joe Wallace. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Joe Walsh. Yes. We're Joe. just going to do a little guitar. I also play guitar. <laughs> okay. The day after, it's just beautiful.